Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So it's been a while since I actually sat down here and filmed a video for you guys. For the month of May, I spent the entire month in China, which was really, really amazing. It was like one of the best trips that I have been to for my entire lifetime, I would say. It, but um, I could not get access to YouTube whatsoever there, so I didn't post anything. But when I came back, I had to actually finish editing all the videos that um, I filmed before leaving to China because I didn't bring my laptop there in case it got stolen or damaged while I was like booked back while I was like backpacking throughout the like, China. So some of the videos that I'm posting are actually filmed a month or two before. This is my first video since I've been back to Canada that I'm sitting down here and talking to you guys all about. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. I am Shu. Um, nice to meet you. And if you have been watching me for a while, then hello again. Um, I'm back and I actually have a lot of stuff to show you guys because this is basically what I have been loving for both the months of May and June. And I can't believe that two months of my summer vacation has already passed. But anyways, I have a lot of stuff to show you guys today. And without further ado, let's get right in with the video. So I want to start out with skincare. I actually don't have that many skincare favorites. Um, I switch up my cleanser here and there and stuff like that. But there's nothing really like fantastic or really like revolutionary about it any of the products I've been trying except for this one thing. It's a Susie and Moisture Aloe Vera and it's by Nature Republic. So I, I believe this is just a moisturizer because essentially that's what I use it for. At the back of this, it says that you're able to use this moisturizer on both your face and your body. So the only thing I really use it for is for my face because I don't really care about my body and I don't really take care of it if that makes sense. I mean I don't have a boyfriend right now so I don't even shave my legs to be honest with you all. For my face though, I like to keep that part really really like fresh and clean and whatnot and I really do like this uh, moisturizer. I really feel like it helps to bring the moisture back into my face and in Beijing it was hella luyat dry there. It felt like I was in the desert. There was actually a sandstorm for the time I was there and this baby actually helped me survive through all that. It really did make a significant difference when I used it and I really felt like my face just felt a lot more baby-like and a lot more moisturized. And this has like a really weird like jelly kind of texture. Let me just show you guys. So this is what it kind of looks like. Um, If you can't tell, I did pick this up in Hong Kong. So if you can't get a hold of this, I would say that go check out Face Shop because they have something really similar to this. And that's the one I would pick up. It's really cheap for this bottle. I think something like $12. The only downside to this is that when I apply it, I do kind of feel like it almost feels like there's like soap on my face. And I get that feeling for like around five minutes like that feeling doesn't go away and then after a while it, it takes a really like a long period of time for it to actually soak into your skin and I really feel like it feels like I should be washing this off but that's not what it's intended to do um the only the other downside to this actually though is that you can get really messy it's just really hard to make it like not get messy I just opened it and like there's I'm getting it over my hand but it really works and really do like this product and it's not that expensive so I would definitely highly recommend you go check it out. My friend actually picked up two body shop products for me for my birthday which was really sweet of him. To be honest though, he was with this girlfriend who came to my party too so I'm pretty sure it was her who did the job of picking and he just paid for her or something but nevertheless I really like what they picked out for me I guess. So one of the first things they actually picked out for me is this hand wash. It's, it's this absinthe terrifying hand wash it smells like leaves and grass and you just have this like really really refreshing scent oh it smells so good and it's nothing like juicy or anything like that it's just it just smells really fresh and after i use this on my hands it kind of lingers on my hand for like two hours like the smell and i i absolutely love that smell i didn't think i've liked the smell of grass and leaves and all that but this is like next level mint it smells like freaking heaven, it smells like your hand is extremely clean. I am just in love with scent. If you like fresh scent, go check this out because it will blow your mind away. So I also picked up a Body Shop um, shower cream and this is in the scent Cocoa Butter. And I don't really love this scent that much, but I really do like this shower cream. I feel like it's one of those shower creams that don't need like an entire handful to like cover up your whole body. You only need a little bit of this in comparison to other shower creams. And I really do like how it feels on me. I just feel like this feels super moisturizing and just feels 
it leaves your body super smooth. I don't know what exactly it is about it, but I just prefer this over any other shower cream I have ever used. I just feel like it's the texture and like how it foams up in my hand and just everything about this is perfection. And it's just something that I would highly recommend you to try it out to understand like why it's so different. Moving on to the fun part, which is makeup favorites. Now, I have actually a lot of makeup favorites because I've been in China for a while. One of the first things I used up there is the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette. And I know I'm like so late onto this trend, but I got this for my birthday. Because I got it as a gift, I decided to bring it along and tra like, like travel with it. And I don't like the packaging. It's so flimsy and I was really scared of it breaking the whole time but gladly it didn't break, nothing happened, no mirrors were shattered, none of the eyeshadows was broken. It comes with 16 eyeshadows including two highlights and you guys probably heard so many reviews about this so I'm not gonna go in details about it. Um, I don't really like these two highlights that much. I, I really just like this champagne highlights. It's like one of the most beautiful things. It's just like adds that extra glow into your eye, makes your eye looks super super sparkly and unicorn I don't know I just love this champagne color I also really like this raspberry color so it's basically a really dark burgundy color and I think this is just like a really great way to add some color onto like the crease of your eye like without being too dramatic or anything like that just because uh, there's still that brown hint in there but there's also that pink hint so um overall this is like the palette that really blew me away because these shadows actually last on your eyelids for such a long time. I feel like the staying power of this beats Urban Decay so much because I feel like Urban Decay, like I like the colors, I like the pigmentation, but they just don't last on my eyes without the primer. I feel like after four hours, the shadows are already kind of gone. But these shadows, however, they last around at least six to seven hours in really humid climates and in really dry climates as well. Another eyeshadow I have been loving, like an individual eyeshadow, is basically the Maybelline 24 Hour Color Tattoo Eyeshadow in Internal Gold. You guys probably have seen this before, but it's just this one color that like really blow me away. So this is what it looks like, and oh my god, this color is actually like freaking heaven. It is super pretty, so I'm just gonna swatch it for you. It looks like actual gold. But like it also have a bit of gold glitter in it and I just feel like this color just it screams unicorn to me almost. This is the stuff that I would expect to find at the end of the rainbow. I love this color so much. It's nothing like any of the gold I have ever seen just because it has glitter in it which makes it look even more like prettier and like sparklier and just really magical I guess. If you have brown eyes, this is bound to make them pop, like no other color. And I don't know if this is the same color as the one you find in America because I did pick this one up in Hong Kong. So I don't know if this is like a Hong Kong exclusive e eternal gold color or not. Um, but if you are going to Asia, I would highly recommend you go pick up the color tattoo by Maybelline. The same packaging, everything but in the color Eternal Gold because oh, this color is just to die for, guys. Over there though, another foundation that I have been loving. Oh my god, this is... This, ex <gasps> this just exploded. That's so sad. This totally exploded. But basically, the, another foundation that I really like is the L'Oreal Infallible uh, Pro Matte Foundation. Um, it's been out for like two to three months, I, I believe. But this is a really amazing foundation. It is a bit pricey for drugstore is around like 15 to 16 dollars but it just like keeps your face matte for the whole day and it actually like lasts on your face for like I wouldn't say 24 hours I would say it lasts for like at least 10 to 12 hours at least so it is a really long lasting foundation too and I feel like the coverage is amazing as well um it gives off a really really natural look while still being medium to heavy coverage I really like everything about this foundation it's a truly matte foundation and Man, like this is just like the bomb.com. Like it just, it's just like the best drugstore foundation. It feels lightweight on your skin as well. It doesn't have that like gross like foundation feeling. It's heavy coverage. The only thing I, I would say it needs to improve on is basically packaging because as you can see, I am not happy with how all my foundation is getting everywhere inside the cap and how I have to clean that up now. So um, 
yeah, there's that. I am in the shade 105 Natural Beige, if you're wondering as well. So while we're on the topic of like foundation and stuff, I want to tell you guys about my favorite tinted moisturizer. And ever since I've been back to Canada, um, I've been really lazy basically with my makeup. But it's not that hot here. So I feel like I didn't need something that was like super full coverage. I didn't need something that was super long lasting for it to stay on my face for like 10 hours because when I was in China, I was going through all these places in China. But now I'm back in Canada, my social life is kind of like pathetic in the sense that I don't have a reason to go out for the entire day. So usually what I like to do when I'm just like going out for a couple hours or something like that. So I, I like to throw on my NARS tinted moisturizer. Now this moisturizer is really really sheer. I would say, well, for a tinted moisturizer, it's all right, I guess. This tinted moisturizer, it really gives you nice and glowy skin. So if you're a fan of glowy skin, like the summer bronzy skin kind of thing, then you will love this because I feel like when I'm wearing this and when I have my highlighter on, I feel like I am just a bronzed up princess. I feel like I'm those Egyptian goddess. I feel like, I don't know, I am just like the sun queen or something. And I love that it gives me that radiance glow. And the best part about it is that it looks really natural. It doesn't give you like a glittery glow or anything weird like that. It just looks like you've been out in the sun all day and just really gives a super super natural glow which is something I really love it only lasts around two to three hours I'm gonna be honest the lasting time isn't that long but the effect it gives is amazing and they also have SPF 30 this is a bit more expensive product it's something like $50 I don't know if I would necessarily repurchase it if I ran out of this immediately but I still really like this stuff I think it's really good stuff if you like glowy skin because we're on the topic of glowing skin and um, I just want to show you guys two highlighters I've been loving. I have been loving these two combined together. I feel like this is what gives me life. So one of the things I picked up before going to China, I didn't actually bring this to China, but I bought it before going there. Um, it's a Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector. And Becca makes one of like the most amazing um, highlighters, I feel like. And this one is basically their classic color in the color Opal, which if you guys don't know, is kind of this like golden -y like golden beige color so this is what it looks like they also have this in the powder form but the one I picked up is basically in the liquid form and I got it in like the smaller size because I am never gonna use up like a big size the thing that I really like about this highlighter is that it looks super super natural but it makes a significant difference it really fakes that glow within look super super well it makes you look like golden like goddess but it does it in such a natural way. I feel like this just makes your skin look a lot, lot more dewy and healthy. Another highlight I love to use in conjunction with this highlighter is basically the Secret Beam Highlighter, and I believe this is by a Two House. So this highlighter was actually kind of pricey. It was something like $20 for this highlighter, um, but it is a really good highlighter. So when you swirl these colors together, it just gives you the most pretty glow. So this is what it looks like, and it just creates a really really pretty golden glow. This is more of a true gold than something like the Opal um, highlighter because I, the whole Opal primer has like a bit more beige tone into it whereas this one has a lot more of a golden tone into it. It just creates like the most beautiful highlight ever. I am wearing it really lightly today on my cheekbones if you guys can see. Um, just kind of lightly because I don't want a harsh line. I'm not using the Becca Opal one today just because I got kind of lazy but these two together though are seriously the bomb.com and I can't say enough good things about these two. I just I really like these two highlighters. Before leaving to China I remember that contouring was like such like the biggest thing in the makeup industry. So before I left for China I actually picked up the Kat Von D shade and light palette. I am a bit late on this palette because I thought that I didn't need it because I still had like my Hoola bronzer which is amazing. That's what I brought to travel with me by the way. Um, and I also have my Bahama Mama bronzer which I thought those two were still really really good products to contour with. But this is really life changing. It really is. And I still love my Hoola bronzer. That is the thing that I have brought with me on my trip to contour with and that really does work really well. It's just that I feel like these powders are a bit softer and easier to blend. For the Hoola bronzer you kind of have to be careful with because uh, it can come off as a little bit muddy and even though these are have like a gray tone 
in them, which makes them really good for contouring as well. Uh, they don't come out as muddy. With a hula bronzer, you kind of have to build it up, but you don't want to build it up too much because then it will leave like a really harsh line across your face. But for these, I feel like you can really go wild with these so that if you do mess up, it's really easy to go over it with a brush again and to correct it and just blend it out. I feel like this shade is way too dark for me, but I still like using this with a light hand. These two shades, usually I mix them together to create that perfect color um, for my skin tone. I haven't really used any of the highlighters yet because right now I am really liking that glowy skin. For like $50, I think you are getting a crap load of product here that will probably last you a lifetime. So I think this is like the best investment you can make if you want like anything to do with contouring. And I really do like this palette and I will highly, highly recommend it. So if you guys haven't noticed, I colored my hair. Hope that you guys like it. If you guys don't like it, please don't tell me because... I don't know, I, I, I like to hear good things about myself, so <laughs> let me be narcissistic that way. So I didn't really want to dye my eyebrow hair into like this like blondish color in case that my hair grows out or anything like that, and it's also like a hassle. Um, I needed something to basically lighten it up, and what I'd be loving is this Too Faced Color My Eyebrow little eyebrow gel and this is basically what it looks like so it basically comes in this like brush form then it has like the brow gel inside like this little tube here and what you do is what you do basically is that you just brush it through your eyebrows and they just really help to color them in and make them like a bit more like yellowish toned they really help to like lighten them up, I feel like. If you dyed your hair and it's looking for a way to make your eyebrows lighter or anything like that, I feel your pain. Go buy this now. You can thank me later. When I was on YouTube, I heard a lot of people talk about this gray lipstick, which is by MAC in the color Stone. And a lot of them were talking about it in the pencil form, but now apparently there is like a new lipstick form of this color. So I got it because I thought it was just like the most amazing color ever. Um, so this is what it looks like. Dun 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 dun! Um, this lipstick though is... Oh my god, my hand! This lipstick is literally like in a gray color. It's like in this like topish grayish color and I feel like... I don't know. <laughs> it's just really really different. And when I first tried it in, at the MAC store and I took a look in the mirror and I just like, I backed up. I was just like, oh my god, that is way so way too harsh on me. I was using a matte formula as well, so it just made me look really really dead and I don't know, it just... It didn't look as good on me as I thought it would, so... I told the girl, I was like, yeah, I think this is a bit too harsh for me. So she's like, okay, well, like, if you want, I can try it with, like, a nude liner underneath, which is what we did, which is what I did today. I love the results of this on top of a nude lipstick. I, it makes it look a lot more, like, less harsh, and it really tones down the color as well. It makes it into this, like, nudish color that has a great tone in it, which I really, really liked. It is what I'm wearing today. What I put on top of it is this Essence Extra 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 Large Shine Lip Gloss. And I, oh my god, I love this lip gloss so, so much. It's just like one of the prettiest lip glosses. This is the number eight glamour to go. It comes with one of those like sponge tip applicators. So um, this is basically what the color looks like. It kind of looks like, like a mocha-ish, like, glossy color kind of thing. I don't know. This is just a really, really pretty color though. I know the trend right now is all about matte lipsticks and whatnot, but some colors like this color can just make you look completely flat just because it's like dark and it looks like and your lips is all like matte and I don't know. It's just... I look like a zombie almost, but when I use this like nudish like lip gloss on top of it, just like now, I feel like it brings life onto me again and just makes this lipstick look a lot more like a unicorn and I actually told my friend while wearing these two combo together I was like yo I feel like a unicorn and she looked at me she said don't flatter yourself moving on to fashion favorites I actually only have two fashion favorites one of one of it is my glasses dun 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 I love these glasses so, so much. I got them in China though, so I can't really tell you where to get them. Um, 
but I really, really like really big glasses. I think they're super, super fun. And I feel like they look kind of classy too because the frame isn't really plasticky. Uh, you can find really similar glasses in Urban Outfitters and sometimes you can find really similar glasses in like Forever 21 as well. Basically, they these really reminds me of the Quay sunglasses and I can't afford the Quay sunglasses, so these are what I got. If you are looking for sunglasses and you're Asian, I would highly recommend you go find something that has a nose piece because we Asians are pretty flat nosed most of the time, not being racist most of the time. Um, and I definitely think that we need this in our lives or else those glasses are just gonna slip right off. Another fashion favor I wanna talk to you guys about though is basically this jacket. And this is a varsity jacket that I picked up from Urban Outfitters. I, they are on sale right now, I think. Mine was like the last one there and I think it was like $20 when I bought it, but originally it was like $140. Bucks. Um, this jacket is really, really lightweight. I think that it's super universal to pair with almost anything. I've been getting a lot of use out of this. I've, I've, worn, I've worn it. I only bought this for two weeks and I've worn this like four times. Okay, so my last favorite of the month is an alcohol favorite. You're not supposed to drink out on the streets, so I don't know if this really counts as like street drinking, but me and my friend, we wanted to go clubbing. But we didn't want to spend too much money and um, we lived pretty far from where the alcohol store was. So we decided to go to LCBO, which is like the alcohol like down in downtown area and pick up the cheapest alcohol that you can find. We bought this bottle of Alpen Bitter for like $4 and we're, we're totally like, you know what, it's cheap, let's get it. It was like the sketchiest looking thing ever. It's 40% alcohol and it's 100 ml for 4 bucks, which is... I think it's really really cheap. It was the cheapest one there. So we picked it up and we went to McDonald's. We bought like a dollar drink. So the whole thing added up to Starbucks drink because it was like five dollars. We mixed this in with Sprite and it tasted so good. It tasted like... It didn't taste like a cocktail or anything like that obviously but it tasted nothing like alcohol. It tasted really really good and I really... If you like the flavor of like iced tea or something like that, I highly recommend that you go pick up Alpen Bitter and then pick up a Sprite and mix these two together. I believe this is whiskey. I could be wrong, but that's what it reminds me of the most. It's like almost like whiskey and vodka together. I, I don't know. I don't like this at all by itself. So that is everything for what I've been loving for the month of June and May. I had amazing two months. I, um, I definitely don't want to combine July and August because I feel like I combine way too many favorites so at the end of the month I have like way too much to talk to, to, talk to you guys about. Anyways, if you haven't subscribed, I definitely hope that you will subscribe and join the fun with me. If you have subscribed, well, why would you leave us? That is everything. I hope you guys had a wonderful June though and until next time, bye!